Hey guys, today we're gonna to be making Baja fish tacos. Hope you guys love it and follow along with me. What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? You guys liked my little hairstyle so much that I decided to do it again. And you know why? Because this time I shot a tutorial on how to do it. Uh, I know this looks so simple and messy and easy, but you know, there's a little more to it than that. But um, also, you know, I think you guys like it better when I cook with my hair up. So today, if you're just joining us, we are gonna be making fish tacos um the california way and i don't know about y'all but i grew up and when it was taco night it was either taco bell or it was a taco bell kit or like a old el paso kit or whatever it was called it was something like that we didn't have the fried shells and like all that we used the little corn ones that was already made the crunchy ones that you had to put them in the oven for a couple minutes real basic so this is what we're doing today. We're gonna make fish tacos. We're gonna make our own sauce to put on top of them. We're gonna fry our corn shells and make our own crispy shells. And you know, this is, this is something that moving to California, I have tasted and I have never went back since tasting my tacos like this. Um, so yeah, you know, some I picked up along the way and hopefully you guys will learn some stuff too. So we're gonna get started. What you wanna do is you want to start your frying pan, turn it on a little bit, turn it on like a medium. You got oil because that was on the list. You're just gonna pour, pour a little bit of oil in the pan, just a little bit, just so that your fish don't stick. You can use any white fish, I'm using cod. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut it in sections. Um, not too small, not too big. It don't matter really because once it cooks, it's all gonna flake anyway and like break up. So it's okay. It doesn't matter really what size you cut it in. So I'm gonna cut it in like strips like that. I'm gonna take my Lowry's fajita seasoning. Um, if you guys got taco mix, that's cool. You just know that we're making fish. So it's gonna be a little bit less than the package. You ain't gonna use that whole packet. That's too much. So just use a little bit and kind of just coat the fish with it. Um, if you're using a taco packet seasoning at home. I told you guys to get this, but I know some of you guys had a little bit of trouble trying to find this, but yeah. You're just gonna sprinkle it over top of these pieces. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. You can move them around a little bit so that you can get the other sides of it. Okay, that's good. And now for these, we're just gonna lay them in. All right, so you wanna turn it Check it, turn it, whatever you gotta do. Turn it, these look great. If they look a little naked or like or like they've lost some of their seasoning, it's okay to give it another little, little sprinkle, sprinkle of it. So normally while we're doing this, we will be cutting our vegetables, which is our cabbage, our tomatoes, our avocado, all of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn the flame down a little bit to super low. Cause that can cook slow because fish cooks really fast, but if you cook it too fast, it'll get dry. So turn that down. So for the red cabbage, I'm just gonna slice it up super thin. Every chef in the whole world talks about the way that I cut. I guess it's dangerous or something, you know, so you guys just make sure you're cutting the right way. You want them thin, thin as thin as they could be, depending on how many tacos you're making is how much uh, cabbage you'll cut. So, you know, all depends on your family size. I'm gonna move on to my cilantro, I'm trying to get my cilantro together because I'm gonna get rid of the ends. I'm only gonna use the little leafy parts because that's the part I like. Then I take my cilantro and I just kind of ball it up as tightly as I can. Cut it like that. Cut it up. Fine, has its own little pile. Check your fish. Your fish, oh see now it's flaking. See now your fish will just, like see this is a piece, but if you just, you could take it all apart 
that's how you want it to be. You want it to be just like that. And that's okay. And you can go ahead and just mix them up because that's how it's gonna get its flavor. And because it's flaking up like that, pretty much means that it's done. So you can go ahead and turn your flame off because you don't need it to overcook. Yeah, y'all with me? All right, y'all with me. So we got some of our ingredients. So I like to use the small ones because when you're making these tacos, your presentation is kind of a lot. So I like to take them and I just like to slice them really thin or your family size or however many tacos you're gonna make. Wait till you see how we make these shells, it's so fun. All right, make sure you've turned your fish off. You don't need it to overcook. We're gonna do an avocado. I just like to cut it straight down the middle and if it's ripe, it'll be so easy. And then you just twist it, bam. Um, I learned to do an avocado and you just, okay, so this one is really ripe. So if you just are really super gentle with your knife because since it's really ripe, it'll go through and go to your hand. I like to slice and dice it right in here. Sometimes it comes out perfect. And then sometimes, sometimes it's like mush. So once you have it all sliced and diced like that, you can attempt to peel it or you can, yeah, see this one's a little too ripe. See, and if you, it will just come out in little cubes if you did it right. And if not, and it comes out all crazy, it's all right. It's going on a taco. It's gonna be all mushed up anyway. So see, I got it all over my hands, but I do got nice little squares. All right, so we've got all of our toppings except for our sauce made. So now we're gonna make our sauce. This is also the fun part. I hope you guys have a Ziploc bag, cause you need it. All right, you need sour cream, you need a lime, you need salt and pepper, and you need sriracha. And I told you guys um, on my other page that if you didn't wanna buy a whole bottle of sriracha, that's fine. You only need about like a restaurant size little packet of it anyway. So if you got a packet in your junk drawer, that can work. So this is one of those things where I'm gonna let you guys measure with what you want. Um, I put a lot of sour cream, a little bit of sriracha because I don't want it too spicy. You guys do what you want. I put like two big uh, big spoons, like overfilled tablespoons of sour cream in the Ziploc bag. Okay, that's one and two. Okay. Sriracha, just, just a little bit. Like I said, to how much you like it. I'm good on that. Some pepper. A little bit of salt. Now I'm gonna cut our lime in half. I'm gonna squeeze that in there. Yeah, okay. This one got good juice in it. It just needs some muscle. You only really need half of the lime. So I'm going to close this up. We take it, we're gonna mix it all up in here. Mixing it up in the bag is fine. Mixing, mixing, mixing. Your, your sauce in here should be turning like a peachy color, depending on how spicy you want it. If you like the spice, by all means, add you more sriracha. I don't want mine too spicy, so mine's gonna be light peach. It's my sauce. It's just gonna chill right there. We are gonna leave it in here, okay? Smear it all the way down to the bottom. Make sure it's mixed good. Should be a nice orangey dark orange, red if you want it, super spicy if you want, however dark or red you want it. It's up to you. Okay, so these, these are done now. I'm gonna put these to the side over here. Let them chill right there. Okay, the fun part, guys. All right, turn on our, turn on our flame to like medium. I'm gonna just pour a little bit in here Little bit of oil in here, not like the full bottom, just like maybe like a quarter of 
how, what size the pan is because once it gets hot, it will spread anyway. Got corn tortillas. I got little tiny ones because they didn't have the normal size ones. The normal size ones are not like a dinner plate, but they're like a cake plate. This is like really small because these are called taco sliders. So I'm gonna be making taco sliders. If you want them to be soft tacos, you can have flour tortillas as well and they can be soft tacos. I won't be mad at you if you ain't down with the crunchy, but you at least should try this crunchy way one time, even if you're not a crunchy person, just to see if you, you know, just to see if you're messing with it. All right, so I put me a little plate down. I put some napkins on it so that my shell's got something to drain on. This is hot. So you need your corn tortillas and you need some tongs. Like I said, this is the fun part. And this is like a technique that you might not get right on the first time and it's okay. That's why they give you multiple tortillas. If you mess them up, just throw them away. First one goes in. Just put it in the grease. Let it get some oil all over it. It's gonna flatten out. And it's just gonna cook a little bit, cook a little bit. And then you just wanna flip it to get the other side greased up. Cooking it, cooking it. I hope you guys can see this good because this is the hard part. Okay, once you start feeling the outside getting crispy, which it will, you'll, you'll be able to tell. I want you to fold it while it's in there. And again, this is like a technique that you'll have to get because sometimes the little end don't want to bend right. Once it bends, I flip it over one more time on the side that wasn't in. And then I let it drip. Okay, I take it out. I leave it here. It's gonna degrease and it's crunchy now. We done fried it. Second one goes in, same thing. You can make them as crunchy or as tender as you want. Totally up to you. This is the long part. And this is, oh my gosh, if you ever get stuck on taco duty at like a little house party, if you start making these good shells, you're gonna have a line and everybody's gonna be like, can you make me like three shells? And then you're gonna be stuck on this duty. So if you can do this, that's great, but don't tell everybody that you can do it because they're gonna be on it. All I seen was something about gloves and a hairnet in them comments. I know, y'all yeah, act like I'm cooking for, for kindergartners or something. I'm not wearing gloves to cook for myself or a hairnet to cook for myself. Sometimes you get a little air bubble in there. It's all right. Don't gotta worry about it. You just move past it like as if it ain't there. Fold them up, flip it. And once your grease, your grease, at this point we did three, our grease start running out. That's okay. Where's my things? I could. I could probably add like a drop or two more oil in here. Just like a little bit. Just a little bit. And see, these are, these are good and they're like mildly crunchy. You can go crispy-er. We'll go crispy-er just to show you what a crispy-er situation looks like. When you go crispier, the only thing I suggest is when you take it out the grease, Hold it open a little bit with your tongs. I'll show you that if you can see. So like this one, we make super crispy. Okay, so when you make them crispy, normally I wouldn't be touching it, but you need to hold it open a little bit when you take it out the grease and let it cool in the open position. Otherwise it's gonna close once you put it in there and it's just gonna be like a little too close. And then when you try to open it, when you wanna make your taco, it's just gonna crack. So they also have little taco trays. You could just sit these in that form the little shape, but that's how you want it. Y'all doing good, y'all hanging in there. How y'all doing with the shells? It's, I know it's hard. <laughs> the shell part is tricky, but worth it. Okay, so hopefully you guys got the shell part down because I'm done making them. I'm gonna just transfer these bad boys to right here because we need our plate. You got your shells. So what you're gonna do, this, these, are the, these are the crispy ones. So they're pretty, pretty strong and pretty sturdy. You know what? I forgot, we gotta go back to our sauce right here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut a little corner, a teeny tiny corner. 
like about a pen size corner off of this because we're gonna squeeze the sauce out and so it makes a cute little drizzle. So yeah, just a tiny little hole in your Ziploc bag, okay? I know you guys are probably thinking, what the heck, why are we making this sauce in a Ziploc bag? That's why. You open them up, you're gonna take your fish, you wanna let some of this juice drip out of the fish, because they get juicy. Put some fish up in there. Some people make their fish tacos with like fried fish. That's cool too, but this is a more healthier, healthier route. Now for our toppings, I, I want you guys to mix. If you guys got both the cabbages, I want you to mix them up. Cause it's, it's not like a one or the other, it's a both. Little purple, little green. Just a little sprinkle, sprinkle. This is why we cut our tomatoes cute, you know? Cause you're gonna just poop, pop them on. Your cilantro, if you like cilantro. If you don't, that's okay too. This is the side we cut down here. You can test it on something. Perfect. Let's see if I can show y'all a little closer so y'all can see this come out. You wanna just drizzle it over there. Okay? Cute, very, very cute. Yes, you love easy and done. And it's like, oh my God, it's 4.30. We started at four o'clock. You could have full dinner done in 30 minutes. You don't gotta make sides with these because you could just eat, you know, if you want sides, you could just eat five tacos. Now, let me see what, what y'all got to say um, in the comments, cause it came out kinda bomb, right? Oh, I forgot the avocado, you're right. You guys are right, I did forget the avocado. So, you guys can add it in wherever you want. I like a lot, so bam, bam, and bam. See, thank you, this is why the comments are so lit. And what, these are already pre-diced, remember? So you shouldn't have to mess with them too much. I'm all just, just all fingering it up. So if you wanted to make another one or whatever, the sauce should go on last because it's messy and you want it to be cute in the final, the final thing. It's also cute to line all three of them up and just put the sauce all over, even over like the shell and just go crazy because it will look cute. And if you have any other questions, you can watch it on Doses of Drea. You could follow that page. You can see um, the recipes on there, the shopping list and all that stuff. Oh good, you guys had fun. All right guys, we have just finished our Baja fish tacos. I hope you love it. I can't wait to see your comments below. And for once, we didn't use any butter. Go me, go me. Um, don't forget to subscribe guys.